Greetings, Planet Houston. I am General Zod, and may I wish you all a Merry Zodmas. Let's talk about a character that I have heard much about, Santa Claus. I have heard much about this mystical one that you call Claus. He does not impress me. In fact, I pity him. He needs a reindeer and a sleigh to fly. I fly all natural. No reindeer for me, though Lord knows I could use a lift occasionally. Where does he get these reindeer anyway? Are they powered also by your mighty yellow sun? If so, how do they fly at night? I will steal this reindeer technology and make it my own. You will bow down before me, Rudolph! Soon all of them will have fashionable goatees and slick their antlers back. Their coats will be made out of pure jet black. Not unlike a pack of 12 tiny stealth bombers flying through the night. But let us talk more about this Santa fellow. What gives him the right to judge Planet Houston's children? That's my job! And what a pathetic punishment to provide little children. Coal? That provides heat and warmth! My partner, Ursa, whose cruelty even extended to the children of Krypton. She had a better way to deal with petulant children. She would stuff their stockings with kryptonite, which would make them weak and make them susceptible to suggestion. Like stealing their mommy and daddy's wallets and purses and giving them to Ursa. But don't worry, it was all going to a good cause. Me. That is when Urza wasn't skimming off the top to pay for that horrid hairstyle. But getting back to the claws at hand, why do you Houstonians find such comfort in this horrible little winter pervert? He is a predator. If you saw some fat, rotund German stalking your children all year, break into your house uninvited, eat your food, and then shove small plastic choking hazards into your clothes, what would you do? Call the police. Or datelines to catch a predator. Or at the very least declare war on Germany. What's that? He lives in the North Pole? Well, that's easy. A military conquest of the North Pole would not be difficult. Deploy! I have a suspicion. This person apparently lives in the Arctic, can fly, wears red, and spends most of his life helping people. Clearly this is the son of jor -El. At the very least, some giant flying crimson mutant polar bear. Either way, he should be brought down. To kneel! And if he is a polar bear, I shall skin him and wear him. If it's the son of jor I shall skin him and wear him. Final sum up, Santa Claus has no place in the Zodonian People's Republic of Houston, nor his freaky munchkin army. So just to reiterate, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Kneel!